You don't have to go very far to practice stealth camping to become one with nature. I'm in my backyard and I'm going to see if I can become invisible to the wildlife that live here. Uh, typically there are raccoons and possums and skunks that nose around a brush pile that I'm going to set up a hammock at. I have an infrared camera and I want to see how invisible I am to that infrared camera. Let's go check out where I'm going to set things up. I'll set it up at dusk, but let's see it before it gets dark. This is my little secret garden back here. The birds love it. There are many bird feeders. The squirrels are here. And in fact, I call it the secret garden. And you can see the secret garden sign. The infrared camera is going to be right over here, so you can see what is visible by the infrared camera. This is a brush pile that I'll be setting up the hammock in. And over there you can see a, um, a little den. Uh, it goes down a couple feet into the ground, and two years ago there were armadillo living there. And now I think there may be skunk, so we'll see if they come visit me. And I'm going to set my hammock up right here. They're quite roomy in this little hammock. The hammock is actually quite comfortable. It's uh, hugging the ground so I can feel the leaves underneath me. Uh, the bug net uh, entirely encloses me, so I am sure that there will be no biting creatures like snakes that get in here or insects that uh, could be a problem. And so it's quite comfortable. I am in an area that uh, the birds often roost in and they were a little bit disturbed. They were squawking at me while I was getting in here. I don't know if the red light that I'm using shows will show up on the infrared pictures. That will be a test. I'll, we'll see that when we look at those pictures. But anyway, it is time to go to sleep and so I'll see you guys in the morning. It is comfortable and warm. and. I feel very cozy. In fact, I'm a little bit too warm right now. I might uh, uh, need to remove a few clothes. I think I'm, I'm really warm because the canvas tarp over the top of this is holding all the heat in. A canvas tarp uh, is quite different from a, a polyester tarp in terms of the amount of heat that it holds. I will... Uh, talk to you guys in the morning and so um, we'll see you then good night
Hey, good morning. It's uh, about 6.30. The uh, sun's beginning to come up now. I've heard the burst, first bird singing. It's really comfortable in here. I haven't tried sleeping in a hammock that is, is touching the ground. This is, is comfortable because it's, it's sort of like a bed, but it, it's also like a hammock because I'm just touching the ground a little bit. It's a tight hammock so I can sleep on my back or on my side. Um, it's also like a blind because I can look out and see things. I'm, I'm seeing little animals outside now and they don't see me. So let's see. Let's see if I can turn the camera around so that you can see it at what I'm looking at outside. Wow, it's neat out here. You know, when you sleep low to the ground like this, it's, it's like uh, being with the, uh, with the wildlife, sleeping with the squirrels, sleeping with the skunks. There's a little mound of dirt over here I'm looking at. I wonder what happened. Who was using that hole last night? I don't know. I'll, I'll check the cameras and see what they show. show. You don't have to go very far to experience nature. It was fun to sleep with the squirrels and other wildlife last night in our backyard. This is something my wife has been telling me to do for some time. She says that you'll see more wildlife in our yard than you do on regular camping trips. So I set up my hammock uh, uh, right outside our bedroom window. It was set low to the ground and very tight. And boy, was it comfortable. It was as good as a regular bed. I put a World War II tarp half shelter over the top of the bug screen, and uh, this kept me very warm, and also my image was not picked up by the infrared camera. This video is a practice exercise for my upcoming film on the secrets of stealth camping. 
your input and comments so far on this film are greatly appreciated. I will incorporate as many of your ideas as I can. I particularly like that several of you mentioned the six S's of stealth camping, and also several of you mentioned the importance of leave no trace. And most importantly, when stealth camping, you must be be no trace. Until next time, peace.